Hi, this is DL, and this is from Meta Hater to Meditator, episode number seven. I thought it would be a great idea to go through a practice meditation with you. And uh, of course, we've been talking about all the different things that get in the way of maintaining or even starting a meditation practice. So, um, tell you what, let's. I'm going to assume that you're a meta hater, and or that you really want to meditate, but you just can't seem to get through those barriers. So um, go ahead and find a comfortable place that you can be sitting in a moment. Uh, just have it close by. But in the meantime, uh, before you sit down, I'd like you to just stand. And I'm going to talk you through a practice. You can have your eyes open or closed. doesn't matter. And what I'd like you to do first is just feel in your body whatever you feel. So you might feel energized in the moment. You might feel a little more mm, lazy, slow, unenergetic. Whatever you notice, just notice it. And I want you to think about this idea of sitting down and sitting still. And when you do, what happens in your body? Anything? Do you feel some resistance come up? Or do you feel like you need to move? Like you need to break through something? Or maybe you have no reaction whatsoever. It's all fine. We're just looking. Now, I'd like you to turn towards your seat and go ahead and walk towards your seat and just notice if anything's coming up for you about knowing we're going to meditate. There might be some resistance about knowing you're going to be still. There might be some excitement. And go ahead and sit down. And so the first thing you'll want to do is get your body comfortable. So, you know, when you were standing, you might have noticed, yeah, I need to, there's all this, this energy, kinetic, bleh, going through my body. Now, if you are a person who struggles with meditation, then this is an indication that you need to move your body more in your daily life. That's why asana or the postures of yoga were, um, were part of the practice. You know, they're the initial and the pre preparatory stages of meditation. So you can very easily just Squeeze and tighten all of your muscles from head to toe. Just squeeze, 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 squeeze tight. Hold your breath. And then slowly release that tension. And then if you need to do it again, do it again. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold. And then slowly, slowly release. And just feel all of the muscles in your body. Contract and release as you do that as many times as you need to so that you can just sit without feeling that, that underlying stirring through the body. So once you've done that, just you don't have to close your eyes to meditate. You can keep them open. But for most people, that's really distracting. So... Why don't we try for now, closing the eyes. I'll close them with you. And so now the first thing to notice is just, in addition to sensations in the body, like, um, you know, you might feel where something was squeezed tight and it's still a little tight, or you might feel something that's um, released and maybe feels more comfortable and settled. Let those sensations of settling grow throughout your body. 
So to do this, you can start to notice the contact that your body has with the chair or surface that you're on if you're on the floor. So you just feel the places where your body is in contact along the seat, of course your feet, wherever they may be, and perhaps your back if you have a back to your chair that you're leaning into. And then the next thing you can start to notice is your breath. And before even trying to do anything to change it, just notice what it's like in this moment and where you're breathing. Can you feel movement in the belly as you breathe in and out? Or maybe you feel more in the chest. There might be some restriction or tightness in certain places where the lungs would want to expand. And you may or may not be able to breathe into those places just by bringing your attention to them. And as you inhale, just kind of focusing on letting go in those areas to expand with the breath and then releasing. And so now let's do a little breath practice. We're going to work with the sound of OM, O-M, sometimes spelled A-U-M, but still pronounced OM. So just on one breath, I want you to breathe in, OM, and out on the same OM. Hello, kitty. My, my kitty has come to join us. <laughs> Hello, pumpkin. Okay. So you're breathing in. Om. And out. Same om. One om per breath. And as you do this, just notice if your attention can remain focused on that sound of OM as you breathe, or do you, do you, does your mind wander? And it's important not to judge yourself if the mind is wandering. It's natural. So just bring your attention back each time you notice it wandering or wanting to pull away from the task at hand which is simply breathing in and out with one ohm. And it may be helpful to breathe in on the O sound and then exhale on the M sound. And now you may be having some thoughts or getting a little distracted. And again, it's, it's fine. It's not um, anything to judge yourself for. But get curious about what's happening. Thoughts may be, be, may be arising. Where are they coming from? Are you thinking about your list of things to do? Are you thinking those little niggling thoughts of, I have to get up and, and do this or that. Um, you know, the, the mind is masterful at getting us to, to do rather than to be. So instead of thinking about, yeah, um, you know, there are legitimate reasons to get up from a meditation, such as 
oh my gosh, I really did leave the burner on, and then you go turn off the burner. But if you get messages like, oh shoot, I forgot to sew that button onto my sweater, I mean, that's, that's not a legitimate reason to get up and go, you know, stop your meditation. So we have to develop an awareness of those kinds of thoughts so that we can determine for ourselves how unessential they are. And usually most of them are going to be unessential. But notice in your body as you're sitting that impulse and the strength of those thoughts sometimes to pop us out. You know, well, I've done enough now. Uh, I've done my 10 minutes. <laughs> I can get up now. If you keep just pushing a little bit past that point for yourself, uh, eventually you're going to be sitting for longer and longer periods without the internal struggle and debate. So now we just watch the thoughts as they come. And we might return to the breath. We might return to sensations in the body. Or we might just be still and allow emptiness. Allow quiet. Allow stillness. How does that feel? Does the body like it? Does the mind? Do you? What's it like to let go of all tasks and analysis and strategy and planning to just give yourself a minute to let all of that go. So, congratulations, my meta hater friend. You've just spent, I'm not sure, maybe uh, close to 10 minutes meditating. <laughs> so, um, understand that meditation is, is a process. Um, and that a lot of it is a, settling the body, and then settling and simply being aware of the thoughts. And then realizing that you're not the one thinking, that the thoughts are arising and you're the one watching the thoughts. If you can get this, you're well on your way. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, again, I appreciate if you comment, if you have anything to share or say or questions to ask. And um, please do share this video with those you think might benefit. And like and subscribe to the page. And thank you, Kitty. You can't see her, but... See? Thank you for, uh, thank you for purring away. <laughs> All right, so take care. Bye-bye.